So, where we left off is still going on. Good. Hasn't stopped. All right. I just got Burke done, who, because he's in Turkey, got some times mixed up a bit, I suppose. He was in Turkey, you say, huh? Turkey, yeah. We used to live on the East Coast. So that was really, uh, well, let's just say it's an eye opener for sure. In yeah. so many levels. Um, so that's done. And then you're the third one for the day. Well, that's that's a lot of work. Ah, I'm used to it. Try guiding 73 people like I did Saturday. On the I don't. It, you're in another world. Uh, that's yeah. like. Uh, but we go much further and much further away on those journeys than the secondary implant removal. That takes place out in space. But beings are introduced to people during the journey that you will be meeting on those group journeys. So I'd like to set up with your kind assistance at some point. We've got to start doing this is having the group journeys uh, for English speaking people in the United States. That's my thought entirely. <clears throat> Actually, exactly. And I was, I was, happy. I was I'm, not going to do any more of these. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just happy to see that. It's being done in English for English speaking. I only charge a hundred bucks for this. Believe me, it's. it's I know long. it's. I'm, I was quite. I was quite surprised. Well, you and, can always. And please, you can always contribute whatever you want. I'm not ashamed to accept it. But okay. these these journeys, when they're when they're booked and really done, there's there's even at a hundred bucks a person, they're still they make money. So not worried about that. But I am concerned that it's open and expand. Because as you must know by now, I'm not motivated by the things that people are on Earth. I know. And what you really need is an administrator to handle all that stuff. I do. You're right. Yeah, you really do. Yeah. Um, and and it's not unreasonable to have a, a, a sufficient amount of charge to handle the administrative costs to have a good administrator do all of that even working with the threads back and forth. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of administrative work detail. Yeah. yeah, it is so far. I'm the cook, I'm the cook and bottle washer of the whole I know, world. I know. Um, I, I expect people will come out of the work just like you are right now. And we're not in a hurry, by the way. This is okay. You. I'm not okay, in a hurry with you. So this is kind okay. of fun. Good, yeah. This is fun. Okay. Burke's in Turkey. I had about an hour, slightly less, but we got it all done. That's what matters. This man is permanently changed, and he doesn't know it yet, but he will know it. That's good, because that just spreads, and then the hue comes through him unblocked, and then that spreads. It's, it's not just the hue, it's the new expansion ray in the hue. You, you know, there is <clears throat> there was a, a, a teacher called in Vardenkar, where they had the name of the Sugmad, they called it the Hue Ray. They have a, all the Ekinkar knockoffs. I know. There's a lot of groups like that, actually. Yeah. So I I like that Hue Ray. Interestingly enough, it was, I lived in Montana waiting for the pole shift to occur. I went there, built my bunker, and was all ready. And 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 Harold was writing, saying, you know, get ready, go to higher ground, and and I was there. And then 2012 came, nothing happened. 2013, nothing. And 2014, he says, we're entering a new golden era. And I heard nothing else after that. And I said, okay. It took me about until I discovered you to get the memo. Something had changed, and no one's talking about it. I'm not even sure he's aware of this change himself right now to this degree. I don't know. I can't say. I, I, I don't know either. I, it's, I not know my, it's not my concern. He's got his own connections to the ocean and sound and light and stuff like that. They can call it the ocean of love and mercy. I don't. Because it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. It doesn't care what you call it. Does, it. it. It's not important. What is really important, Scott, in my view, is to find a being on the planet who can handle the American administration to get this up to where you're doing hundreds at a time. 
Yeah, that's and that I can do. And, and, and that's not that, and, and that requires a, a great deal of organization. Well, consider this. What do we have available? You've got Venmo, Zoom. There's you've got webinar type businesses that run webinars and can handle thousands of people, but you can't see anybody. It's all for selling products. They're they're so tiny, a little email stream on the side. Now, I think the way to do this is to go into conference settings with satellite links. Oh, yeah. OK. So not only people in the conference can be there, but people over the world can be tuned into it. That requires more money to, to, to buy the satellite link or to rent a space or put on a conference. That's one way to do it. But you gotta get you gotta get you gotta get momentum going. And momentum is starting with what you're doing here. Get what you've got going here that you have going in Thailand with an administrator. Once you have enough of those going up, word of mouth will get it to the point where you can then begin to take a venue. Why are you applying for the job? <laughs> I'm I'm too old. Yes. Yeah. No, you're not. I don't know how old you are. I, I, I'll be 82 in March. Okay. How old do you think I am? Uh, 70. Well, it's close. 73, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you've got hair and you look young and youthful. And That's because I don't eat animals or seafood. I don't. I'm a, I'm a plant-based eater, too. I've been doing this stuff for 50 yeah, years. Yeah, you look, you look, you are, you're bald, but you look very vital. See, like Sat Nam. You remind me of Sat Nam. <laughs> you know yeah. what he looks like? Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, right. I do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's that's the form he usually tries to show people, but he isn't really a physical body. So he just, you know, he's got a throne in the back of this palatial estate, the base of a snow-capped mountain range in the Atma Plain. Never sits in the throne. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Boring, boring. No, I mean, these beings do not like to be worshipped or put on pedestals. I don't know any master teacher, most of whom are far more advanced than Varagi, who ever will allow anybody to put them on a pedestal. They do not like it. Hmm. It's interesting. That's a whole nother way, uh, totally antagonistic to the traditional religious teaching. Correct, but that's just bound to earth. Ekankar is bound to earth. Once it became an organization like they established through the bylaws of the United States nonprofit organizations, they became controlled by that. You can't put out the same freedom that way. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that having gone down this rabbit hole. You know, I've built businesses in the past, and I understand how those laws work and what the limitations are. But for you, doing what you're doing, getting this information and this process out, in my view, the, the, the critical mass, even getting the other people who want to bring in their resources, it comes with doing this. Are you willing to be a co-creator with me in this? In some Let way? me think. I, I'm, th I'm going to think about it, Scott. Because you've already done that with four other pe three other people. Well, yes, that's true. And and it they're they're going to be very they're all going to be very happy with what happened to them. You will be too. The inspiration to do more comes from co-creating with the source. I'm anxious to take you on a group journey, maybe even take you on a private because I don't do them anymore. Think about it. How practical it is for me to take an hour, set it up, get the oh, link. It's it's not practical for a hundred bucks. And take somebody on a journey, record it, and send it to them times 10,000. I wouldn't have enough life left in me to do that. No, you no. could. Yeah, I know. So it yeah. has to go into, well, you can do hundreds on Zoom and still see people. Past yeah. that, it starts to get too tiny. You, you got to start, though, with Zoom and get that scheduled with a structure and a staff and a pricing formula that makes every that works for everyone. I agree, but that takes more money. I'm not broke by any means, but it takes more money than I have. So people are being prepared. Two billionaires I know of who really understand the trap they've created themselves in and want to get free of it. That is God, people are going to come to you. The thing you don't right. understand. You, right. you, you're, you're missing the point. 
when you start doing this in America, I'm not, I'm not Zoom, missing the point, Virgil. I'm already there. Okay, good. Here in America, in English, going all over the world, this critical mass of people will grow. It's going to be a managed a matter of how do you control the the requirements for. I health. don't. I would fail. Yeah. I like the hue and the beings that I work with, not from Earth, handle that because they can do it without effort, without failure. They don't make mistakes. The hue's running through them with no implants. If you but we've it. got to have an infrastructure physically. That's true. That handles just the transactions. Well, of... you know, but I know that. But I'm yeah. not. I'm not by myself the person that can do all that. No, you're not. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm not. You know, I know. And, and <laughs> I, know. I, I know that. I know that. And I see that. But as listen, I'm so excited about this process. I did you know that I work with the Galactic Alliance directly on Earth today? You I don't know that. Well, you will. You're about to. Okay. Fair enough. Sure. And you're also honest. You don't know that. No, you don't, but you will. But it'll be your experience, not mine. That doesn't place me above you. I don't do that to people. I'm just a fellow Atma who got through something he was never meant to go through, got through it anyway, despite what was done to him, alone, on Earth, through most of this life, writing and publishing these books as a publisher because no publisher would have published them. Yeah. The Emerald Doorway has 30 highly detailed illustrations of characters and scenes. No publisher even did that for J.K. Rowling. She's a billionaire. They're little cartoon characters here and there. That's it. So these books and the special techniques at the back of the series agenda. The series agenda is about what's taking place and changing out in space right now. The Parallel Time Trilogy is about an ancient past, your past, that helps people recover and recall that. The two, these two, past and future, are tied together. The Galactic Alliance was operating in this solar system 100,000 years ago before the poles changed last time. Yeah. It's not going to happen anymore. No more polar shifts. Everything's I changed. Got the I got the memo. memo. Somebody with, with, everything has changed from the time Paul Twitch will put out his future predictions of, you know, Third World War and all that stuff. Yeah. Polar shifts, golden age, iron age. That's how it was in the Man, Grand Man Van Taras in the lower plains. That's changing for the first time. Yes. That's why I'm here. I had a choice to either do something unique in the higher worlds or get caught under somebody else's thumb and sit back and do nothing till I passed away or stay in revenge for what was done to me. I made a choice to go back home and co-creatively give something there they didn't have. The U expansion rate was built this way. It took years. Gradually, one of the first, what you call Viragi masters to work in one of the training facilities I want to take you to in the U expansion rate academy is the Light Sea. Yes. He has a body on the etheric plane. He doesn't have lower bodies, but he does work there. Hmm. So he still manages a body there. In the etheric plane, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is fine because it'll last forever in the etheric plane until he decides to get rid of her or go do something else, you know. What about Rebazar, Ramu? Yeah, you know about that too, don't you? Yeah. Well, that's his more older name. That's a Lemurian name for him. Galactic Alliance name. Rebazar Tars is more recent Tibetan. Interesting. 500 years, immortalized bodies, nothing. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, see, I, I have to be careful. I don't use copyrighted Viragi names. Yes, I know. You know, because there are a few I will, because they don't have control of them. None of those Viragi are members of Ekankar, you know. I didn't know that. Not one. It has nothing to do with an organization in the United States built on Earth by Paul. They're not members of Ekankar. That would terribly limit them. No, they're not. So there's things that cannot be copyrighted or patented on Earth by Ekankar or anybody, and the hue is one of them. It's 
first half of the word human. It's some of the name of the leaders of China. You can't do that. And it's not patentable or ownable by anybody. It's the omnipresent living power itself. Try to patent that, see where it gets you. <laughs> Nothing but problems will come out of that, ultimately. Yeah, yeah. It's like trying to sell the hue for money. I include it in my work, of course, I have to. But I don't charge, I don't try to sell hue recordings or anything like that. I have one I did with my own voice on my website. It's looped, so there's three levels of harmony, right? I listen to it. I, I know about it. Yeah. That's just, yeah, that's just there. I recommend it to a lot of people. But you know I don't charge money for it, ever? Books, yes. Guided journey, sure. That, no. Look, you know, Scott, in this particular timeline, in this particular stream, money is is running through this state. So it has to be a part of what is going on here. Of course it does, but I'm well and, aware of that. And, and I and when I am when I'm in the astral, I can see my money stuff going on there. Sure. And the effects there and the causal. So it's about really getting all of that in the proper place and wrapping well, I, want to share with you, I don't do this with most people, but I am with you. My name is Lemriel Trimbana in the astral plane. I am terribly wealthy, incredibly successful. I win all the contests, yachting. There's, it's a huge world with islands. It's one of the parallel dimensions of the astral plane. There are many, 144, actually. Mm -hmm. And getting that being and causal, mental, and etheric selves awake and working with each other, people call their higher selves. They weren't, and they aren't in most people. I, 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 it's not working in me. I, I know. I'm aware yeah, of that. Well, they are now because when we go on these journeys, I always bring people back down through those planes. I don't always talk about it. And those guys, they don't want to say they get their butts kicked, but their Sat Nam goes with me and Trillian and gets them working with each other. I've been working on trying to get this to happen with me. And this, I mean, since there, I started there, doing with you. Just, there's just nobody in any organization, not just Deck and Car, and no Viragi that will just do that to you. You have to begin to co-create awakening that with your co-creative nature, with the hue to do that. I've become aware of that. And of and course, secondary implants are in the way of that, aren't they? Trust me, because fear has been, this negative expectancy, um, it's been terrible for me, Scott. Yeah, I know. In this lifetime. Well, it's you know what? We're going to go on a journey in a little while. We're not ready yet. We're having fun still. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Uh, and we're going to go on this journey. <laughs> First of many, I think. But each time we go on one of these, and if I take you on private one-on-ones, and I probably will do a few of those. Right now, I'm kind of booked through mid-December with Perry. She's got me, uh, and she's great, but she's got me doing two secondary implant removals some are private, some are not. It's up to the individual. Uh, they're a hundred bucks, and I, I and uh, they put she puts them on her YouTube channel. I put them on mine. Got them doing on Tuesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. When we do the group journeys, they're on Saturday night my time. The last one was seventy-five people. I listen to all of them. They're just phenomenal what happens, but you don't see Scott, I, I've listened to all of them. But you I don't brought... know what happens to those people afterwards. They're crying. They're they're changed forever. It's great. Yeah. Anyway, somebody has to do this because nobody was. I know. Nobody. Satnam didn't know to do it. Satnam didn't know to do it. He's the master over the, the terrible tyrants of the cow and the Brahm and the, all these guys and Jock and all that. How, why would they want to change if it's set that way by us several hundred billion years ago and put in place as the way things are? How do you change that? Yeah. You can't do it from the lower worlds. They're fixed yeah. and finished. There's only one group of beings that know how to change things if they're willing to but they do it from an experimental place above Satnam's realm. He tests it in the lower worlds. 
there's a long hallway in this palatial area. And this screen on the left, it's like an LCD screen, right? Yeah. Glass, but you don't see outside of the fountain of the garden. It shows you the lower dimensions of time and space, all of them. And he'll send a new creation down in it if it comes back true, necessary, and kind, which is correct. Rarely ever happens up there. Gets everybody kind of excited. And then it's implemented. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But if no one's doing it, nothing changes. Interesting, isn't it? It is. It's the truth. I mean, I can do only... me... <laughs> You can't make this stuff up in a brain and personality grown up on Earth. There's no institution that teaches it. You, you can't just... Star Wars wasn't made up in George Lucas's brain. He went yeah. into a trance state, and you get into this trance like writers do. I'm an author and a publisher. And I've written the screenplays for the movies already. I'm way ahead of this game. But when you do it, you're actually tuning into something through the creative imagination, which is really the ability to see into the multiverse, somewhere, someplace that happened or did, is happening, and you write about it, and then you say, I did it, it's my ego, I did it myself. That's what happens with people on Earth. Scientists, too. These inventions are already in the astral plane or somewhere else, and they pick up on them. Yeah. To create something that isn't in the astral plane, there's a museum on the etheric plane that I run. I have three forms there. One sits between a doorway between the top of the etheric and the void. One sits in, uh, there's a fountain, and there's a cave behind it with these 12 doorways. And they're portals to golden wisdom type temples from there. And there's the other one is a, is a temple that's very vast, and it has these incredible crystalline structures on stands. There's a golden floor that's luminous. And, it, and each one of these accesses some phenomena or planet or galaxy or some place in the lower dimensions. The one that's on the, the left when you first walk in on a pedestal is a crystal headset fits around here. It's all smooth. It just fits over your forehead and just hovers there. It allows people to see beyond the void to the Atma plane. Do you want to know which was the crystal that's least used? Which one? That one. Really? Well, because the freedom, relatively speaking, to an etheric form is so great, nobody's motivated to go further and complete their mission. They're trapped in mm -hmm. the current plane. They don't even know it. Take some kind of master teacher to get them off their duff and across mm -hmm. the void and really starting to co-create like they're meant to. That was portrayed, um, and I think the Tiger's Fang portrays that to some degree. But there's so much more, because then, in those days, there was no Hugh Expansion Rate Academy. You know, Scott, there's so much of what you're saying I have come to understand and know through my own inner connections and the blocks that I see, and I say, wake up! I can't do it down here by myself. I need help with all you guys. Come on, get going. But that's why we cross paths. Yeah. But here's the thing you need to acknowledge in yourself before we start. You did that. This was yeah. your courage that found yeah. me. I just made myself available. You found me. Your sure. courage did that. You stepped beyond the implants because in actuality you have mastery over them but you've been intimidated and subconsciously influenced to not doubt, believe that, to doubt it. So you get caught in this whole world. Being influenced subconsciously, you know the stuff is there, but you can't touch it because the fact is you cannot remove them yourself anyway. You need mm -hmm. greater God and respect for the greater God to come and help you in that way. And you have to be respectful of them in the right manner. Don't put them on a pedestal. Make them friends just like we're being right now. Yeah, yeah. And friends, that's really all they ever want. You ever thought about befriending Satnam like a buddy? No, never have. No, it was never, it's never even occurred to me. But that's what <laughs> I did when I first met him. Uh, See? It's fresh and new, they don't get that. So a lot has happened because of the way I approached the upper worlds that otherwise would never have happened. 
Hmm. Torellian is a, he's beyond any master teacher I've ever heard of. And he hmm. has the least errors about him about it of anyone I've ever met. Isn't that interesting? This guy that had a body a billion years ago with his whole race, because this was never released in Ekankar. I don't think Harold even knows it. Paul didn't. It's simple. They actually developed the human forms, bipedal creatures of human, humanoid, and other races, reptilian, grays, tall whites, all of them, just in this galaxy. They aren't even from this galaxy. And they brought them up to space faring capability, meaning the body forms were genetically, scientifically, and spiritually uplifted so that Atlas could run higher faculties through forms where they could get tactile sensation of these different planes. And then what you learn from that is supposed to be uploaded to the app and then taken back home. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what's not been happening, unfortunately. Fear, evil and good was so successful at cattle prodding people, it actually ended up trapping them introvertedly in ways that no one saw. We didn't see it. But to sit around and wait for some God to change things when Satnam isn't even aware to do it, it's never going to happen. We have to return the God part we are to the Great One and start creating there because otherwise it can't change anything. The source itself doesn't know the future. We haven't created it yet. Think mm. about that. That means we're responsible. Here's the one thing I learned. Absolute freedom comes with Absolute responsibility. responsibility. The two are yeah. married. They cannot yeah. be divorced. So when we go to the void, we cannot bring any negative nature with us anyway. It doesn't, the void won't allow you to bring it up there. It's a barrier between the upper realities and the lower. The pass key, of course, is the hue. But more than that, the motivation for going above the void has to be correct. Hmm. selfishly going there to get stuff from people, it's not the pass key. So many have never gone, been allowed by Satan, not even to cross his borders. I bring whole groups across the border and Satnam waves at them. But he's approving them. The respect is there, make no mistake, he's approving them. And people don't really know that at first, that, that this guy, why would he take the time to work with a bunch of yahoos like us, you know, or Torellian. That body he shows you when you're going to see it was a body he had over a billion Earth years ago. The Seyrays immortalized their bodies in a special way. They seeded human, humanoid, and other lives throughout many galaxies in both the astral and physical planes. They had craft that could go between them. The Galactic Alliance doesn't do that in craft. They go between 144 parallel dimensions of Earth's and other worlds. That's the organization. It's not just linear in one plane. There's 144 levels of that. And 144 in the astral, causal, mental, etheric. Once you enter the void and go beyond it, that all changes. Because the energy up there is no suns, no moons, no stars, no planets, no time, no space. It's the nature of the hue that comprises us. We're the same. That can't change. And Atma can become more aware of their co-creative potential, which Ambassador Trelling demonstrates for our benefit. He sees our potential. So he just stands there, runs the hue through him from a higher plane, puts it around us. We go through this implant removal journey. He's happier in a lark to do that. It's voluntary. There's nobody on Earth that can control or manipulate these beings. They're way beyond people on Earth. There's people trying to say they can remove implants in Thailand right now for free if you buy $5,000 of their other courses. That's how misdirected they are, Earth people. I don't do anything about it. You want to know why? Because the hue will teach them better. You know, Scott, I've spent 40 years doing therapies. Jungian psychotherapy, Freudian therapy. It won't work. I Trust me when I tell you, I know that from experience. Uh, you know, all of these... Scientologists all of these... and psychiatrists are trained in the medical arts. They're doctors. 
but they're trained to administer yeah. drugs from pharmaceuticals that suppress symptoms. That's allopathic medicine. Guess who put that in place on earth at the turn of the century? Industrialist billionaires to control the curriculum of PhD programs so they could build a drug industry based on curing symptoms and make a lot of money. If you give people cures, where's the money in that? I know. Yeah. So yeah. you have allopathic medicine trained to doctors who are never mentioned the word cure in their training. And if yeah. they try to do it, uh, the AMA comes down on them, takes their license away for practicing medicine in an unauthorized way. Yeah, I got that. So I was involved with the cure for cancer 35 years ago using Royal Raymond Rife's technology, cured a bunch of kids of cancer in 1947 with sound frequencies using microwave. He had a Rife microscope that was developed with prisms on different levels. So it would refract the spectrum of light and focus the right spectrum of light on cancer, which is a bacteria, and light it up so you can see what sound will kill it. You put an electron microscope on that, it kills it. You can't study what will kill it. Mm -hmm. it suppressed. All right, there's a long story of that. I actually have Rife equipment with me here. Well, do you, you use it now? Yeah, and I have it. What kind of spooky too or something like that? Yes. Or? Okay. And I'm still cautious about some of what they do because I don't get their um, their remote viewing kind of stuff because mm. that can be controlled from satellites and from HARP and things like that. So I don't use that kind of thing that they sell. I used uh, I I was trained in radionic and radiesthesia and I owned those instruments uh, forty years ago. Some of, some of the best radionics and energy teachers on the planet. Yeah, I'm and, sure they are, but still, they're here, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I, I don't... What's, what's wrong with this picture? What? How come they're still stuck? I don't, you know... I, I, I know, I know. It, the, the real problem that I see in all of this healing process is everyone is trying to put out the fire, but not fixing the reason why the fire is continuing to be fed exactly the point and I, I do i see that in my own life like well virgil no you know those chocolate chip cookies are not good yeah but if i if i eat it now i won't feel bad and it's like flip wilson used to be on tv and yeah yeah he, yeah and i remember him it's alter alter ego geraldine would come out and say in a dress why did you do that stupid thing and geraldine would say no Made me do it and <laughs> devil made me do it same. Me. and 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 i got geraldine at the gate all the time in my life so the, when i finally figured out that all these things flower essences and gem elixirs and all these they're things not gonna, they're not going to work to immortalize your body no no they no they they push dust from one part of the room to another that's about it yeah that's what they do you, when you here's the reason though if you have a whole planet people subconsciously implanted, terrorized to remember who they are, aren't they misdirected in almost everything they're doing? Yes, indeed. I can attest to that. So this is why we, why this work is evolving and fast, it's especially this year. It's, you know, I have to report to the IRS and pay taxes for the first time in years this year and all that because any books that are sold are reported by Amazon. Um, uh, what's the book? Um, Ingram Spark, which distributes books to bookstores around the world. I have contracts with as a publisher. Yeah, I know. On demand, just like Jeff Bezos does with Amazon. Yeah, yeah. He's making billions on authors because he acts like a publisher, but he isn't one. And Ingram Spark, which had print on demand facilities around the world before Jeff Bezos was born, is where he got it from. They distribute to bookstores. Amazon does not. If you use their advanced publication system, they go right to Ingram Spark and you get less money. They're just distributing through that cartel or that. They have pretty much a patent on that. So you have to kind of know what you're doing when you're publishing. And I think probably I get three or four dollars a book, maybe four, maybe, on Amazon. Can't, if you go through Ingram to get it to bookstores, you make maybe two out of 18 or 20 or 26 bucks. 
everybody else rips off everything else, which is okay because it does get the work out. And I probably sold 30,000 books. You know what a New York Times bestseller is? No. 100,000. That's all I need to do. If get the book sales up, which is what my focus this year is for, I produce these incredible videos I want to share with you. If you go to my YouTube channel and scroll past all the recent stuff, you're going to see all these really videos that have 250,000 views, minute and 30 seconds. I've seen them. Those are good, but I've never really promoted them through YouTube, spent the money to make millions aware of it. It costs a lot. I'm not Toyota, but that's how it's done. That's why they make billions. That's how that should be done. I could pick six of those and start paying weekly to advertise them. Well, we'll get it in front of 50,000 people for this much each week. That's how they do it. And if I could do that, yeah, I could probably make these New York Times bestsellers in six months. Yeah. Then I can put on them New York Times bestseller. You're going to have a whole group of people coming to you to try to package you and promote what you do. And there are many branches on that tree. It'll be up to you to use your own discrimination and discernment as to- Yeah, but I have it. friends in high places like you. <laughs> Don't I? Hey, think, a, I, think about it for a minute now. Why wouldn't you coke? Why wouldn't you be part of this for your own benefit anyway? I mean, you don't care if you call yourself retired. I don't work for anybody for a salary anymore, but I'm certainly not retired. Well, I'm not retired too. When once I break through my own limitations and my own, you know how familiar we look to each other right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, I, I, I know. I, I recognize that, Scott. Yeah, yeah it's very I, nice to recognize that because yeah. it's part of waking up. It really is. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I. And if you think I can think I can do this alone, to where it's no, like, I, I know you no. can't. It's, you're not supposed to. No, I'm not supposed to. I need to, and I need to bring other people in. For instance, if a billionaire approached me, and that's going to happen. They want to get secondary and primary and all that stuff done. They want to have their family. They want to get out of this mess. And a small part of their billions would help this happen. And it would also set them free. It's not self. I would never accept money from a billionaire selfishly, ever. In fact, I wouldn't even allow him to pay me a billion dollars if he didn't read the series yet or didn't get grounded first and I knew it. I wouldn't accept the money and I wouldn't guide him. But that's because of what I know. Scott, you are, um, what you do is, you got one foot on the planet and one foot. That's right. <laughs> a whole yeah. bunch of other places. Yeah. And there needs to be an interface that is firmly, that understands where you are, but is grounded here in the workings of the way things work and speaks the language and makes people feel comfortable with what it is that they're doing. May I share something with you? Sure. For fun. Now, this has nothing to do with the journey we're going on. We're, yeah, we're, yeah, I got that. We're taking our time on that one because we can. Yes. It's a choice. So if I share this screen and I go, there's you, got it, okay? Yeah. Calvin Klein's always trying to sell me their britches. I don't know why. It's planet Earth. So let's go over here to parallel time. No, 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 no. That's not right. Let's go to YouTube. Now let's go to my channel. And you can see... In the beginning, there's these latest ones just going up here. Yeah, I've seen them all, Scott. Oh, but there's new ones. Look who's here now. Who uh, you recommended her? So I, I have, I haven't. She said you was you were putting her up. How about that? She gave me permission, so there she is. Yeah. Okay. So, but if we come down here, I don't know how to get these back up to the top because if I keep putting these up, they're going to inundate all these down. Look yes. at some of these that I promoted through a company six years ago 
And the kind of views they got, 194,000, 228,000, 202,000. Yeah. Scott, you're, that, you're, that is not enough views to sell books. It has to be. Jim, Scott, you're, Scott you're, you're looking, you're looking, all due respect, in the wrong place to get people's attention. The well, place... the, point, the point is these are not promoted yet. They exist. Yes. Here's what I wanted to show you, because you can tell me what the right place is. Let me just pick one of these so you can see what it does. Uh, not that one, because that one doesn't have a narration. But let's. God, I've been through the. I've been through the ones that have done the narrations. Okay, I've, and then you know they have orchestrated music with them. Scott, I, Scott, I've been going through your work in detail for the last five and a half years. That's cool. I've lived in Montana. That's and pretty cool. All, and, and and I lived on six acres and I had nothing to do in the wintertime except <laughs> go through the videos. Well, let me ask you something. What took you so long? I was a huh? fear, fear, fear. Yeah. Okay, now think about a billionaire as I'm talking about. Two, probably one. We only need one. What they're going through to step forward like you did tonight. There. For this to occur, what I'm saying to you is, in my view, so let me say to you, I grew up poor. I know what it's like to go through poverty, yeah. Poverty and then to be limitation, limited with race and and segregated schools and all that stuff. And I left the color stuff and the racial stuff and became a I worked in New York and I know what it's like running with the rich and famous and the jet set group, made a lot of money, lost a fortune. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. With terror, fear, bad decisions. Of course. All that stuff. And, and so there is nothing in this life that I have not experienced personally. Good. That's good. In other words, so I know what it's like to be with beautiful women, ugly women, lots of money, no money, healthy, sick. And everything in between doesn't get you anywhere, does it? it, it, it and, and everything, it, so the it doesn't go anywhere. It's just a merry-go-round. Yeah, but it's nicer to go on a jet than it is in a Volkswagen. <laughs> well, yeah, and if I'm gonna, I don't even like traveling in jets. You know what jet lag is? It is so, not traveling around the curvature of the Earth. It's caused by the electro by the turbofan jet speed creates a counter effect to the eight ohm frequency of our bodies. That's jet lag. Yes. It's, it's a terrible technology. It burns polluting fuel. It's oil based. It's dinosaur already. They're already fitting jets because the technology for electric motors is so great now. They're fitting four engine jets with two electric jets that can drive the thrust that's necessary for them to get rid of fuel altogether, unexplosive if they crash. They, the thing that's held them back was the battery pack technology to give them enough energy to go across the ocean. Elon Musk created batteries now that can do that. So the testing is there. The engines have the power. They just didn't have the charge to get across. So that's coming. Now, whether hmm. or not the government lets it happen or suppresses it and classifies it, that's what remains to be. I don't think they're going to anymore because let's just say that they've been told from off world. They have to disclose or it will be done for them without their involvement. This is mm. a joke. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I can see because that. Because it will embarrass the leaders terribly. But the purpose for doing it is not to embarrass them or harm them. It's to get them to make the change that you see depicted in the Savers Agenda book. They cannot do it programmed and implanted. Impossible. Uh, like I said, <clears throat> I I know how people with a lot of money think and mm -hmm. what that what is required uh, in order for them to part with their money, notwithstanding what the their fears or their religions are, when they have a lot of money. So what do you think they're required to do? What they what they re, what they require and what they need is someone that is going to be your uh, handler. Uh, you could call them anything, your firm, or you are the star 
you're in Michael Jordan. But Michael Jordan is only able to play because there's an entire staff of people that gets people to the stadium. Well, and particularly his agent. Yeah. And his aide, his aide you consider it, you got to have an agent first or someone that can handle and build the org, build the organization. You Scott? Know that it's impossible today to get an agent to go into Hollywood as a new talent. Almost impossible because they are mostly run by lawyers or agents. And yeah. they want you to have experience to put to the table because they want their 10% domestic and foreign. That's all. Sure. So there's another way to go about this. And I figured this out. What is it? Hire an entertainment law firm for 25 to 3,000 as a retainer. They represent you. They are and can represent you as an agent on any contracts that you need, like negotiating with a studio, film funding. Um, and that way you get agency representation by buying it without trying to peddle getting it. But you see what I'm thinking of, you have a different experience because of your screenwriting, your books, and you're thinking in this global thing. Yeah. And I understand that. And I'm seeing because of the way I think that building this process that you're doing to be able to handle 200 people 300 do you know people. what you're doing right now virgil no co-creating it with me okay okay it doesn't mean you have to do anything and it means i'm not manipulating a thing i'm not in yeah, yeah. playing with your mind and manip no I mean, yeah this is you coming out mm. because you haven't reached your potential yet scott Everyone is terrified. Everyone is hiding behind their temporary looks, their temporary money, their temporary power, whatever. Not everyone. I mean, not everyone, but I'm saying the people on the planet. You're correct. Yeah. That's right. I know. Okay. Well. So, so when there is an option that does not require any great sacrifice or something that will give an individual an opportunity to to take another step with what let's, you're doing. Let's, let's put it this way. Let's say somebody has $100 billion, not Elon Musk. It's not but Bezos. $100 billion. Maybe they got $10 billion. And putting out $500 million or a billion would not hurt them, but it could get them free from being owned by money or possessing it so that it is a flow of the hue through them. It literally but they will do that. They will do that only in if you have a vessel or a structure that comports with the reality of the planet, the way the planet works. No, no. And people who know how to husband, guard it, and use Generally, it. Generally, the person who would do that is the billionaire himself or herself because they already know how to do it. If they know how to do it, you don't have to hunt for it. You see what I'm trying to say? If they, if they come up with the money, they will put in place the people. That's right. The business... Yes, because and what I'm saying to you it's is for their own well-being, and then when they know that, they're motivated. Yeah, but what I'm seeing is, I want to get from point A to point B. Point A is where you are now, mm -hmm. where you were two months ago. You've gone into another whole thing. Boom. Yeah, and that's you know here we are talking, and people in Florida are starting to talk, and so that thing can take off and those people are going to show up. You don't need just one person. You, you're going to be better off getting... You realize that you're sharing with me a knowing certainty because your primary and secondary implants are turned off. This yeah. is the real you. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm okay. trying to tell you, this started when we first got on Zoom. Chantel yeah. and Tonaltiel are still standing beside you now. Mm. They are friends you can trust. They're not from Earth. They don't have subconscious minds. They're not motivated by the crap on this planet. No, <laughs> not at all. You but we need to manage it. But we got to manage the crap here. I know. Get... But then that takes you and others as well. Yeah. Because it just does. We're atmas. We're supposed to co-create together out of this trap. Not just for Earth, mind you. That's thinking too small. The whole thing. I see that. You have to embrace the whole thing or you're not really respecting what you call God or life in the universe.
You can't claim it unless you're doing it. You, you see, Scott, you, you are in this world with your understanding and your, and I've listened to you for five and a half years. And I'm here and I see what people with boots on the ground are doing, thinking, feeling, and acting. Of course. And, 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 and I'm in that group too, and, but a little bit weird for them. But that notwithstanding, the portal in terms of bringing in those people and the resources, in my view, is through what it is that you're doing here on a structured, on a structured scale of larger numbers of people. I couldn't proper possibly, administration. I couldn't possibly have said it better myself. Yeah. And I know this. Of course I do. Yeah. And I'm not those other people. They haven't come. You can't be. Uh, I, I, the, the, this is too big for that. Uh, it's too big for one person. That's for sure. And 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 I'm saying to you, people are going to start coming. There's something to you. you need to know. What's that? When that's built, it cannot build an organization like Ekincar or any other foundation set, not nonprofit. It can't go in that direction. It has to be based on its own momentum because it is the hue expansion rate flowing through greater numbers that creates this miracle called transformation on this planet, unexpected transformation. And I don't have that power. I know it's not my power. But there's no way. There's The key here is to, this thing can't happen without managing the correct flow of energy in the form of money in the pri in the correct ways with I the agree correct I agree completely you still right. have to report yeah. to the IRS you still have to pay all that's fine of course it's all yeah, yeah, yeah. but the the, the, the key Virgil, here is the, there will the be a time on this planet when no one will want to use money anymore right but that's not now no that's not now we have to get there we have to build it yeah I'm not alone in this people who don't use it know how best to get rid of it safely not riots in the streets not toppling governments because that's what's underway it's not like people think disclosure and it's not being managed by people on earth because they can't manage it well, i can understand that i i i can understand because i understand my own issues in relationship to that but they can help train or uplift certain people to manage it on earth with them that they that can is that will happen that is happening now and which tells me we need to get you on a secondary implant removing journey let's get it on dude okay all right i never see you're african-american i think in some part of your background yeah yeah some of that i don't you know i don't see you that way yeah i don't i don't think that way you don't talk that way uh you no think, you're not the body form you're running isn't who you are. I know that. Uh, and um, the body form I'm running, I'll tell you, this body form even Earth looks like Calum in the Emerald Doorway. Much older, but similar. The, your body form? Yes, because uh -huh. it's, it's beginning to duplicate the form I show people that is pure. Where we're going, you'll see it. So Lemuel Trimbana is my name in the astral plane. Heck, I used to know my names in the causal, mental, and etheric. They aren't the same. But I do know my name in the higher realities, even in the ocean of sound and light itself. It's one word. Hmm. There is a top silent mentor, the very top guy. Guess who befriended him? Why? Because I could. I had no trepidation. This guy's so far beyond, you can't even imagine how advanced they are. They can move anywhere in creation, instantly take any form from the highest. There are several planes above the ocean of sound and light now. Did you know that? Yes. The silent I've been told realm. that. I, I've realm. been told that. I haven't I, been. I'm going to take you there. The silent mental realm and then the hue expansion ray plane itself to administer this new change. And I am there. It's my responsibility. When you create something, you cannot shirk it. It cannot be put on someone else's shoulders. You have to accept it in eternity. There's freedom with it, but total responsibility. 
There's no ego there. It cannot be perverted. You can't bring it above the void. So if you go back home and you start bringing that energy down through the being you are, it changes it into repolarizing it to be a vehicle for that pure energy out to this dead planet. Unconscious, numb people. They're dumber than bricks to people that we're going to meet. I mean, really, quite shut down. You see them in restaurants. You see them everywhere you go. I just put the hue out in there. I don't interact with them because I know the hue and I trust it to know when to change them and how. Mm -hmm. I just trust it. I don't worry about the details like that because it's not my power. I am exactly part of it, like a drop in it, individual in a huge ocean of it. But I'm the same thing as it. I cannot manifest anything from the Atma I am. It doesn't have that ability to store that kind of power. But when I plug into the omnipresent hue where we're going, it manifests what we imagine. That's what it does, not us. Mm. When you start to understand that, everything changes. It's changing a lot for me, and you're observing it just the last few months. Yes. And it changed when I, my mother passed away and I moved from that home in Lake Forest and sold it. It was divided in a trust. I came up here and bought this place I'm in right now, one hour from Mount Shasta. I see it in the day when I'm driving to my home. There is an extraterrestrial base in the holiday interior of that mountain, built there in 1908. If it wasn't there, we'd all be dead already. Believe me when I tell you this. These beings are not interested in ruling a planet or taking over governments. They want us to grow up and stop this crap, drop fear and work together and be, join a larger organization of worlds. That's just for the physical universe. Because the least advanced world out there that travels the stars is light years behind, beyond us here. There isn't gonna be Russia and United States and China going out there and seeing who can beat and get the spoils of other people's planets. They're running into a brick wall because space is already occupied by far more advanced races. It's going to have to be the other way around or not at all. These aren't stupid people. They're not going to allow people that are deranged on Earth to come out there and throw their garbage on everybody else, bring radioactive materials out there and start spitting it out on everyone. Never going to happen. There's no such thing as a Star Trek with radioactive warp cores in the future of this planet. They're illegal. They're banned. Nobody uses them. You can't use that technology and get across the stars. It's impossible. You have to work with the omnipresent hue to do that. Yeah, I get it. That, isn't that fun? And that's as close as divine spirit is to people. It's right there and they don't even know it. It's, it's unbiased. It supports you making good and bad and both and killing yourself and blowing up worlds. That's the way it has operated up until now. The energy moving through this solar system now is quite different. And it only works one way. It's not dualistic. And it's in the physical universe for the first time in this way. So it doesn't split off anymore into positive well, and negative? It still does. Because people imagine it split. But itself, it's meant to be, the positive and the negative are two opposites of a pole, meant to be whole with another energy coming through them to manifest atoms and molecules that work that, with energy and electrons. Yeah. And, you know, it's because it's matter, space, and time. Energy, matter, space, and time. What we are and what the higher worlds are is not matter, energy, space, and time at all. Yeah. I get that. So when you when we start to wake that up here, the future is is no one knows just how wondrous it can be. If you retire the old failed experiment of good and evil and replace it with the hue expansion ray, what do you think would happen? Would they destroy the lower worlds of time and space like they've done twice before? in hundreds of billions of years, pull the atmos up, rebuild it, stick them back. Because you know what happened both times? Nothing. Nothing changed at all. So something has to be done without 
destroying. The worlds are fine. Everything's built. We just have to run it better, differently. So what's this thing about the fixed universe? Fixed lower worlds are fixed versus being... Well, the lower fixed. worlds of time and space were created as fixed and finished. Done. Can't change them. They're a bit supposed to be set to have experience and then come back and find new ways of doing things. The upper worlds are not fixed and finished. Interesting. You can't fix and finish something that has no time and space or energy and matter. It's an mm. energy. It's not energy because it's not regulated by the laws of physics. Not even mm -hmm. the laws of physics in the etheric plane apply to the period here. It's the other way around. And you were there in the beginning as one of the beings in the ocean of sound and light before the lower worlds of time and space were even built. So how old are you? Mm. It's an eye-opener, isn't it? Yeah. This is telepathic. This is not something you can ever forget. Not now. I'm going to stop this recording.